Hello everyone, welcome back with a new video. Today I will discuss about the way of increasing pressure, means how the pressure can be increased. See, the pressure can be increased by reducing the surface area for a given thrust. One example I am giving, suppose you think about the nails, the ends of the nails are made pointed. Why? So that the large pressure is exerted on the point ends. Why? Because we read the pre proportional to 1 by A. When the area is less, then the pressure will be more. Clear? Second example is the, the cutting tools have the sharp edges. Why? The same reason is there as P inversely proportional to A means P equal P proportional to 1 by A then we can say when the area is less, the pressure will be more. Means for the sharp edges of the knife, we can get the large pressure by applying a small effort. So, the cutting can be done with a less effort. Now, how the pressure can be decreased? Means way of decreasing the pressure. How? See, by decreasing the surface area for a given thrust, the pressure can be decreased. Why? Because we read the formula P equals to or P proportional to 1 by A. Means that P is inversely proportional to R. Okay? So now from this equation, from this relation, we can say, by one example I am telling, the white wooden strippers are placed below the railway tracks. Why? Because if we place the wooden slippers, means the area is more by which the pressure exerted by the iron nails on the ground becomes less. Okay. Next heading also, next one example also I can give. The buildings, the base of the buildings are made thicker. Why? Or the base of the buildings are made wider than the walls. Why? By which? The pressure exerted by the buildings on the ground becomes less. Okay, that to us the example, or by which by decreasing the by increasing the surface area, we can decrease the pressure because this P is inversely proportional to A. Now, one of the most important topic I will discuss, which is the pressure in fluids. Before that, you have to learn what are fluids. See, fluids, some substance are there which can flow mean the substance which can flow that are called the fluids. Example means liquid gas that are called the fluids because liquid and gas can flow. Now what is the difference between pressure exerted by the fluid or pressure exerted by the solid? We read about the three states of matter. Actually there are five states of matter solid, liquid, gas, after that the plasma state and the Bose-Einstein condensation state. But for class 9, you just try to learn about that three states of matter which is solid, liquid and gas. So what are the difference? Suppose if we consider one solid which is placed on the ground, now the pressure exerted by the solid will be obviously downward. Okay? Because the weight is acting downward, in the pressure exerted by the solid is along the downward direction. But if we give, if we pour some water, suppose this is water, means or any liquid also you can take, this water will give the pressure in all direction. Means the liquid or gas, means the fluids, when it is poured or when it is kept in a vessel or kept in a container, then it will exert a pressure in all direction. If we uh, uh, consider the point over here, if we take one molecule, then it is giving the force in any direction, like this. Means it gives the force on the walls also and on the container, downward direction also and the this direction, this direction also. Okay, this is the difference between pressure exerted by the solid and pressure exerted by the liquid. Now you have to learn the pressure in fluids. See, there is an experiment by which we can prove that the liquid gives pressure in all direction. 
see the experiment is take one cylindrical vessel or uh, take one container which is filled by the water and make some holes below the free surface this is the free surface of the liquid or water now first we will observe the liquid or the water is coming out through these holes that proves the liquid is giving the pressure on the side of the walls or on the side of the container ok so the liquid exit pressure at each point of the walls second case if we put our fingers at any of these points then we will feel the thrust ok why because that liquid exits thrust below its free edges or below its free surface that's why we feel the thrust so if you want to find a pressure at in at that point or at any point of unit area the thrust per unit area will give the pressure at that particular point ok in third case if we notice the distance from the bottom of the vessel to the point of where the liquid from the hole strikes then we will observe as the depth increases then the throw of water also increases why so we can conclude that about this experiment the pressure increases with depth see if we consider about this point and this point then obviously this pressure at this hole will be more than this hole so the, we can conclude that that pressure increases with depth means pressure is directly proportional to h where h is the depth of the water give the next setting pressure exerted by the liquid or proof p equals to h rho g means at a height h how much pressure exerted by the liquid that i will prove it to prove that relation i will take one container which is filled by the water ok or any liquid also you can take now we want to find the pressure at a height h so at a height h consider one circular faces p q so the force exerted by the liquid on the p q will be due to the water which is placed above p q isn't it or if we consider a imaginary cylinder like this then the force exerted on the pq due to the water column which is placed inside the cylinder which is pq r s i am telling and this is the free surface x y clear so to calculate the pressure at a height h i took one circular faces pq and the force or the thrust exerted on pq is due to the water column inside the imaginary cylinder which is pqrs now i will calculate the thrust the thrust equals to due to which one due to the water column so thrust means at, it is actually the weight of the liquid weight of the liquid column inside the cylinder so thrust equals to we can say this is the weight of the liquid column of i am writing here pqrs okay now see what is the formula for weight the formula for weight is equals to m into g ok so m means mass of the liquid see one relation we know that rho means density equals to mass by volume so mass equals to we can write rho into v means volume into density into g ok now volume means what do you know the one formula of volume which is the area into length see if we take the area of that pq is a that is a into length means height it is h that will give the value of volume into rho into g now the relation we got a h rho g so we want to find the pressure so to calculate the pressure apply the formula p equals to thrust divided by area 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 of pqrs i took a so thrust is a h rho g 
divided by a that is h rho g this is the proof of pressure exerted by the liquid at a height h due to the water column so the formula we read p equals to h rho g but you can ask there is also the atmospheric pressure by the air column means the actual formula will be the pressure exerted suppose this is the container filled by the water and that was that proof i have shown so at a height h from the free surface at a height h from the free surface that is h rho g but the air is also the giving the pressure if we consider that value is p not or p zero then the pressure will be p not plus h rho g but in maximum problem the question will be find the liquid pressure or the water pressure due to the height h if the question is given include the atmospheric pressure then you will add the at value of the atmospheric pressure which is p not equals to 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 pascal otherwise no need to add okay so if the question is given add this one then you will add otherwise in maximum problem when you will solve the problem then you will see maximum problem you have to use this relation h to g because the question will be given find the pressure uh, at a height h means liquid pressure at a height h and the height will be given okay rho you know this is the density of water and g is the acceleration due to gravity on which factors the pressure exerted by the liquid depends on that is p equals to we know h rho g so the factors will be first factors will be h means depth of the liquid not height depth of the liquid and rho equals to density density of the liquid and g is the acceleration due to gravity okay so here the pressure depends on three factors h rho and g and one thing you know at a particular places the g the value of g remains constant so at that particular places only the pressure of the liquid depends on h where h is the height of the uh, depth of the liquid and rho is the density of the liquid okay